Okay, this is off the cuff again. All right, I am going to expose something to Christians who have been shaded from the reality of the situation that we're here, that we're in here in Lawton, Oklahoma. Yes, Lawton, Oklahoma, Comanche County. You are in trouble. Because you did not teach your children right, you did not grow them in the ways of the Lord, and you did not give them understanding, you cannot recognize what's happening to your city. You don't know the truth from a lie. Now, I'm about to expose something here, you know, and hey, you know what? I might catch some flack for it. I might get some uh, retribution or I might get some persecution from it. But you know what? I'm here to serve the Lord because this it, this this is really disconcerting, disconcerting. It is it is a concern in this in this uh, city. Now, there is a stronghold of witchcraft that you church leaders. Yes. You, pastors, have allowed to take over in this country and in this particular city. You are at fault for that. And the Lord is going to hold you responsible. Leaders of the city who left God, who allowed this to happen, to move into the schools and to teach liberal policies and to and to teach and to allow teachers to teach communism and poverty and so on and so forth as a way of life you are going to be held responsible by the lord i can't do a whole lot i can only tell you what the message is okay now i'm going to tell you i'm going to expose this to the light Now, there are men here that are from South Africa, Ghana, and Nigeria. They are of the Zulu tribe. The Zulu tribe, you have the same kind of makeup as you do in India. You have a wealth, wealthy class of citizens Actually, there's four. There's the wealth class of citizens, the, mid, the, uh, the middle class of citizens, the warrior class of citizens, and then you have the, the impoverished, or what people would call untouchables. This group of people is part of the warrior class. Their their technique of war is different. It is witchcraft. It's voodoo. All right. It is also in spoiling the morality of your sons and daughters. You know who they are. They're walking around here. They're impoverished. They're in jeans, sneakers, T-shirt. And they often walk in pairs. They're not just walking around trying to get from point A to point B, mind you. They have targeted specific households. And they're going to these specific households. Mine is among one of them. And they're speaking incantations against each household. If you happen to be providing a service, they're walking into your business or getting into your taxi cab. And they are speaking incantations against you as you're either providing the service or driving your car. And if you're not a Christian, and if you're not filled with the Holy Ghost, and if you're not covered by the blood of Jesus, this can be very dangerous for you. Because witchcraft, voodoo, is absolutely real. And if the Lord is not with you, you have no means of fighting it. 
you have no means of defending yourself against it. And if your household, if you are not Christians, and your household is not covered by the blood of Jesus, and your children are not properly taught in the way they should go through the Bible, your children will go wayward because of these men. There are many of them here. They're walking from east side to west side, north side to south side, on post. Walking into people's businesses, inviting themselves into people's homes. And they're ripping the kids one by one, day by day, month by month, year by year, out of the hands of the parents and out of the control of the parents. Now, I'm telling you this because leaders of the city, pastors of the city, teachers, and parents are all responsible for this, for what's happening to the children today. They are getting knee-deep into voodoo. And it's going to start affecting your businesses because when your children grow up, they're going to be Baby mamas from, from these men, they're going to be abandoned and they're going to be worthless to society because they're going to be on welfare so that they can support their kids. And then their kids are going to be exposed to the man that comes back to her after she's on welfare to his teachings. And because he's the head of the household, those kids are going to follow him. The Lord is going to hold that to your account. Leaders of the city, teachers, pastors, and parents. I said it in another video. Parents, those kids belong to the Lord. You have just been given a POA or a power of attorney by God to raise those kids right. And you're not doing it. And that is why they're going astray. Now, how do you how do you fight this? You speak against their incantations, blessings upon your household. You anoint your household. You anoint your property. You anoint your vehicles. You anoint the place you sit in in your uh, in your office. You anoint your forehead. You anoint your children and you pray over your children and you pray over your spouses and you pray over your household. And you may even have to go so far as to pull your kids out of the public school system, which is defunct. Now, like I said, there's nothing I can do but bring it to the light. I can only fight my own battle. I can only defend my own self against this horrible thing. And if you allow it to go too far, it's going to overtake the city, and then your city is going to be bankrupted. And the only thing that's going to be left in it is impoverished, drug-dealing, drug addict, prostitutes, and pimps. That's what this city is going to be made up of.